Hey guys, I'm Vivek. I'm a junior here at UC Irvine. And I'm Ben. I'm a former transfer student. We know that your housing deadline is June 1st, but many of you actually can't come here to visit because of shelter in place. So we're here to take you on a virtual campus housing tour. Let's go. Alright, so the five places we're going to check out are all collectively known as the ACC, or American Campus Community. They're all pretty similar, but they do have some distinct distinguishing features. For example, if you're going to bring your car to campus, parking can cost up to $100 a month. But depending on where you live, you might have fewer or more parking spaces. So let's check it out. Alright, so we're here at Plaza Verde or PV. It's the most recent uh, housing complex and it's also definitely the most nicest looking one. It's also immediately priced compared to the other housing sites and it has its own laundry facilities, even though it's shared. There's indoor and outdoor study spaces as well. And for those of you who are interested in working out, there's a rec center. But I mean, the arc is just right down the street and I would just go there just because it's just a lot better. Um, Plaza Verde has its own parking structure. So for those of you who want to bring their car down here, You've got plenty of space to park. BDC Norte doubles are actually pretty big, and some of them have access to their own washer and dryer. What's crazy is that your utility bill never exceeds 80 bucks a month. Some people actually have tested this, and they've run the AC all day, but their utility bill has never exceeded 80 bucks. Yeah, also the bus line is really close by, and if you live here, you'll definitely get used to the schedule. If you have a bike, it might be a little bit hard, as there's not a lot of bike racks, and they only have four bikes per rack. Now we're at Camino del Sol. The rooms here are definitely the most spacious, but they're also the most expensive. Utilities are a part of the rent, and you get your own in-house washer and dryer. Some places even have their own fireplace. Yeah, Camino del Sol is also pretty close to the Arc, which is UCI's gym. And that's where a lot of people like to park, as Camino del Sol's parking is pretty far away, as it can take up to 12 minutes. However, Camino del Sol is considered one of the safer areas to live. Alright, so here we are. This is VDC, or Vista del Campo. This is the farthest from campus, but with buses, it's not too bad, as it'll only take 15 to 20 minutes, and buses come around every 5 to 7 minutes or so. This is a pretty nice spot, and you even get your own room as well. Utilities are included, and for grad housing, you get your own in-unit washer and dryer. Don't worry, undergrads. If you really wanted to, you can apply to grad housing and get your own washer and dryer. Alright, so here we are. This is Puerto del Sol. This is the cheapest housing area, but however, it is the it is the smallest. You are, however, really close to the food and dining areas, as Campus Plaza is just right across the street, which has an Albertsons, a Del Taco, and a Happy Burger. Some of the other drawbacks are that, for depending on the room you're in, the lighting can be pretty bad, and also parking is pretty limited. There's only like 10 parking spots for this entire area, so most people just end up parking at the Arc. University Town Center Apartments, or UTC, is what they call the larger area that consists of several different housing complexes. They call this off-campus housing, but it's actually closer than the on-campus housing of ACC. Yeah, most of these apartment complexes are owned by the Irvine Company or private owners, not by UCI. So you can either find apartments here on the Irvine Company website or on Zillow. Overall, it's cheaper than on-campus housing, but you need to provide your own furniture as it's small and not as nice as some of the on-campus places. Some of our friends have had ants adventures in these apartments. Parking can also be painful because you only get one garage space and one permit to park at residential parking spots per, per apartment. So if you have more than two roommates who drive, you're going to have to work out a system. Laundry here can also be more expensive if you don't have an in-unit washer dryer, and it usually costs about $2 per wash. Alright, hope you guys found this video helpful. Unfortunately, while we weren't able to get through every detail of every location, we hope that we were able to give you a better sense of where things are on the map. If you've got any specific questions, just put them right in the comments below and we'll get to them right before your housing deadline. See ya!